What's happening, everyone? Time for uh, another episode of Malt Reviews. Usual, that's Mike. I'm Narby. What's up, guys? We are going to be doing a Brook Lottie. You no, know, we haven't done many Isla whiskeys. I promise you guys we'll start doing more and more of those. Um, this is the Brook Lottie Laddie 10. It's the second edition. And the second edition is bottled at 50% ABV. Um, it states on the bottle that it's uh, there's no colorant added and um, no filtration. So that's a bonus. And it's good to know information on there. And it also says it's first fill bourbon, sherry, and French wine casks. Combination of three different types of casks. And this has been breathing for about 15 minutes or so. Always nice to know that there's no colorant added. Yeah. I think oh, yeah. I think um, Isla whiskeys could probably get away with that a little bit more just because lighter color Isla whiskeys um, kind of get away with it a little bit more because those are the flavors that people expect where, let's say, um, the space side whiskey was very light i think a lot of people would stay away from it they want to see that dark rich color um and that's why i think a lot of companies will add that colorant we obviously really don't like that we like to see the product in its natural form light yeah. straw color here beautiful all right on the nose Even though this is an, uh, it's uh, this this whiskey oh. is unpeated, um, but because of its location and where the casks are sitting, you're still getting that beautiful like that uh, you know that light light amount of peat and that light amount of that salty ocean breeze is kind of coming through and. Yeah. I would think this is slightly <laughs> peated, but absolutely. it states that it's not. So yeah. um, it's it's very unique when it's not, and then you're getting some of those elements in there. Um, but it's 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 buttery, it's salty, it's it's rich with with citrus fruits, with vanilla, all those kind of flavors that you would expect. It's really nice. Yeah, I would say. The most beautiful thing about the island of Isla is that you have Bruaglotti, you have Bowmore, you have Ardbeg, you have Lagavulin, you have Lafroig, Port Ellen. They're all on the same island, but they're all so different, but they all have their own strong, distinct nature. Like I could easily nose this and tell you it's a Bruaglotti, even though it's unpeated. The bottle says it's unpeated because the salty air and this kind of uh, like farm freshness is just coming through in a way where it is like lightly peated because Brook Lottie, you know, it's not strong peat, it's not like Ardbeg or Lafroig, it's very lightly peated. So being peated, being not peated, this is the same thing to me. And I'm getting those very nice light tropical fruits that are very distinctive with Brook Lottie. I'm getting like very light mangoes and light pink grapefruits and light, light apricots. And it's all coated by the ocean air all around it. It's like crystallized Isla Coast ocean air all coated around these beautiful fruits and these kind of farm fresh earthy qualities. It's for Brook Lottie, the nature of it, it's perfect. Absolutely. It's definitely got that earthy far, farmy kind of quality to it a little bit. And when you combine that, it's almost got like a little bit of that fresh cut grass element to it. Um, mm -hmm. And when you combine that with, with, with candied fruits and that, that's, that, that saltiness and then you just combine it all and it does become um, a beautiful whiskey in that sense. So mm. The pink grapefruit, man. Yeah. Very nice. Absolutely. Yeah, and bottled at 50%. I think it's done right. Love. Love the extra 4, 5, 6%. Mm. Anything to add? I'm um, I'm ready for palate. Let's do palate, man. Let's right. keep it keep it going. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, fifty 
sir. Mm. A full arrival, spicy, spicy, peppery. Mm. And then once that kind of goes away, the citrus fruits come in. Mm. That, that earthiness definitely comes in. That saltiness comes in. The salted caramels mm. definitely come in. Um, real, real delicate, that, that sea breeze slash soft peat, even though it's not peated, smokiness comes in, even said like a touch of leather mm. and, and, and a beautiful spice. So if you like, if you like a little bit of a, a little bit of pepper in there, you, you definitely enjoy it with the combination of the, of the beautiful fruits and um, salty, butterscotchy, vanilla kind of flavors. Um, really nice. Here's a trip. The nose was totally like typical Brugladi, like light, tropical, farm freshy, tiny little bit of peat, ocean air, coastal. And when I took a sip, it came in kind of hot. And at first I was gonna say that it's too hot. I'm gonna knock it down a point for that off the get-go. But then all of a sudden the hot transformed and took over and just totally changed the profile on the palate. And it's like peppery and now it's more dark fruits than light tropical fruits. And it's turning into like caramelized like brown sugar rum raisin and like thick nougat. Like it totally created a kind of a thick nougaty mouthfeel that I never expected from that nose. And that's really cool. That kind of adds a layer of complexity and mystery that I never expected. Is that water? That is. Totally changed from nose to palate. Very cool. Like two different whiskeys. Two drops. You want two drops? Perfect. Because, yeah, this 50% still did come a little strong. Strong attack. Invites agua. Came a little young, right? Even though, yeah. even though it has a lot of stuff going on. Oh yeah. It gets fruitier. Mm. It gets fruitier. It. It really doesn't. With well, I mean, just two drops, but it definitely, it definitely changes it. It, 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 it does open it up, and I'd actually suggest two drops of water, um, at least on the nose so far. I would suggest this whiskey with a couple drops of water. It's everything a little bit more alive. Rather than me trying to dig in for something new, I'm not necessarily getting anything new. It just kind of opened up, and it just became a little bit more alive in an enjoyable way. Yeah, I'm getting, um, I definitely get the, the tropical fruits much stronger. Yeah. And now I'm getting all kinds of crazy flowers. Like, take that farm scene, that beautiful part of the island of Isla, and just load it with all these crazy, beautiful colors of, of fresh, exotic flowers. And it just adds to all the elements. With that ocean air all surrounding everything. What a picture. Yes. Pile it one more time with water. Yes, sir. like it much better with water on the palate. Um, and let's also be fair, um, second sip is always a better period once you introduce the spirit to the senses, get everything acclimated, and then you go again, and of course, that's mm. when you're truly tasting it. Mm. It, um, yeah, it, it, it really comes out with this, this be beautiful amount of of, of tropical fruits and you know I'm starting to with water those citrus fruits and I'm also starting to get some like apricot peach kind of fruits and some even some like um, 
honeydew melon kind of kind of a taste, um, the butterscotch and um, and, and and vanilla and it, it almost got creamier on the palate. Um, it, it lightened that pepper, but for sure in the back you get that that kind of like light pepperiness, um, and not as much as the first sit naturally, and with a couple drops of water, that toned down as well. Really, really improved. This actually whiskey with a couple drops of water to me went up a couple points um, in my mind as right now for a score. So if you are gonna try this, I personally highly recommend it with a few drops of water and the finish lingers for quite a while. It's really nice. Yeah, I mean, like I was talking about tale of two whiskeys on the first go around with no water at all. The second go around with water, the palate now is much more like the nose, the profile expected from the nose, a typical Brewer Lottie. You have the beautiful farm freshness. You have those light tropical fruits becoming out very strong. Uh, lemon, grapefruit, even like some more exotic fruits like star fruit and like dragon fruit. Definitely a little bit of the apricot and peach in the background. And then also the same thing, that, that beautiful coastal air and the sense of light peat, even though it's unpeated, that's much more in the whiskey the second time. I still get a little bit of the peppery, yeah. the spice and light oak in the back, like from maybe from the high alcohol, but definitely it's tapered down and it's focusing more on the Brewer Glotty nature in the foreground. Yeah, this is... Um... I also should mention that this bottle is around $60, 60 to $65, depending on where you're looking. Um, and that's a fair price. Uh, it's a fair price for, for a good quality product. Uh, that is. Score-wise, I really enjoy this a lot. Um, oh. Score-wise, this is an 86 out of 100 for me. Excellent whiskey. This is a perfect introduction to Brew Glotti. You never tried it. I give it. 87. Excellent. All right, you guys. Uh, we will see you guys for another malt review soon. Uh, appreciate all the comments and all the kind words from you guys. Um, you know, that's awesome. And just like I always say when, we, when we're writing back to you guys, if you guys ever want any recommendations, if you ever have any questions, um, we will um, gladly help out. Um, get a lot of emails too where people are looking for certain kind of bottle and saying, hey, I want to spend 500 bucks. What bottle would you recommend for 500? And just questions like that. Um, don't hesitate to ask if you do have any questions um, as we have been spoiled and tried a lot of whiskeys. So uh, we will see you guys soon. Cheers. Cheers, guys.